from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge, and we will be underway. The teams then, Spezia against Atalanta. This is Peter Drury, and next to me, providing insights, will be Jim Beglin. Hi, Peter. Always good to work with you. I'm really looking forward to this now. It's out for a goal kick. A chance! And he's cut it out. He's a clever pass. Oh, he'll be annoyed with himself for not getting there. Tries to dink it in. Steered out wide, but he won't reach that one. Well, they would seem to be trying to expose the centre of that defence to, to runners. It makes for some terrific movement. It does, and they may be hit on the break because obviously it requires numbers forward to, to stretch them out. That's surely a foul free kick. The route one option, Josip Ilicic looking to get on the end of this. A slightly better ball would have led to a very different outcome there. Yeah, the communication lines were working really well, but the supply line just had a bit of a blockage. Goal! Oh, high quality goal, lovely first touch, sumptuous second. Atalanta draw first blood here. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. Played out to the wing. Knocks it away. Get a throw in. Oh, good steal. He just read it. It's good distance on it. Goes long and forward. Passes it through. He's made sure that that won't get through. Looks to slip it through. Has a hit! He's got away with one there. I love to see a team closing down from the front like that, and I think they did brilliant to win it back and get the shot away. And the first half is done. Well, it hasn't exactly gone to plan so far, but there's no need to panic. There's still plenty of time to get back into this. As always, an early goal would help swing things back in their favour. Here we go again. Spezia don't need to press the panic button just yet. They may have to tweak their, their setup first if they don't grab an early goal in this second half. They can't hold back though. That intervention was very necessary. Pumps it forwards. Tries a through ball. And offside. Yes, it is. Well, it was the early through ball that almost caught everyone out in that instance, all but for our flag waving assistant referee. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. 
Now the pass. Oh, good interception. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, and it was a case of, of good awareness too, that wasn't quite matched by the, the right way to pass it, only needed just a little bit more behind it, and he was through. Aimed wide, he'd have done well to reach that. Aimed long and direct, and the ball needed to be better there, that's a wasted chance. Defending was strong and firm. Looks to thread it through. Looks like a good ball through. Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. He's gone down, now then. No, the referee's judged that the offence took place outside the area. Well, the referee has made it pretty clear now that this is his last chance. He just needs to find the control button on his aggression before the ref does it for him, Peter. Atalanta uh, keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a, a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity of, of going beyond that rear guard. Looks to dink one in. Tries one! Oh, and that should have been two. What a massive let-off that was. They're still in it, but uh, this could be pivotal. Boon forward. Tries a through ball. He's in, surely. Not the worst cross in the world, but still room for improvement. Confirmation that there will be two minutes stoppage time. The final whistle, always in the balance.